So today I was trying to figure out how to create some CloudWatch alarms using CDK. And this person, Borislav Hadziev, he has a website, bobbyhads.com, had a nice introduction and a nice um, GitHub repository showing how he does that. So he's actually using NPM and something called NPX to, to create the stack and to destroy it. Um, I don't know what NPX is, but um, I went ahead and used it in my Visual Studio code. So if we take a look at the, um, the stack here, um, if we go down to this, this is how the Lambda function is created. So um, we're calling it my function. We're using Node.js, um, one gig of RAM, five second duration, and just a file a handler called index.main. And there's a little bit of code in there, source my Lambda. So if we go to source uh, my Lambda, we should be able to see it, yeah. So it's just an async function where we throw an error when we run it. So we're this when we run the function, we'll get the error to prove that everything works. So uh, the way you deploy it is how he described it. Uh, you just install your dependencies, you clone this repo, install the dependencies, then deploy the stack. So I already did that. Um, here's the stack right here. Um, stack information, uh, the events, and then the resources. So I've got the function right there, which is actually right over here. If we go to the code, you can see index.js had all that stuff in there. Um, and if you go to the other resources, we've got the errors alarm and the invocation alarm, which has links. Um, so I have those over here. I've got the um, invocations alarm, and you can see where I ran it. This is the one time that I that I ran it, um, so it would have been triggered right here. But prior to that, it did not run, and I don't have any actions. Um, it was in insufficient data, but if I reload this page, um, the it's still showing insufficient data. I'm not really sure why. Probably because I didn't get enough data in yet. But this is the data point. Um, there are no actions, but I could adjust this to take action. So that's the invocation. This is the errors. Again, same spot there. You see um, I got an error on my one invocation. So uh, it would have thrown the, it would have tripped the CloudWatch alarm here because of my one invocation, which was an error. And uh, same thing, same thing here. So I guess we're, even if you invoke the function, you're setting, you're uh, tripping the alarm, so to speak. So um, that's basically all it is. It's a, it's um, in his, uh, blog post here he walks through how it works and uh, talks about some other ways that you can work with CloudWatch alarms um, but it's just a simple um, example that works really well and I thought I'd share it so if you have any questions let me know I'll put the links to the github and uh, uh, the blog post in in this in the description for this video and uh, thanks for watching